The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Elbows high. Now pull back. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Well, I'm in no position to turn down help. We need to be ready for a fight, but I'm useless with a sword. He was only a boy, and I just... just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. Never again. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step parry, step, step, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. 
I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm up for the challenge. You've just got to make a little space. I would object, but sitting by the fire while you do all the hard work sounds marvellous, actually. I like how you think. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Any questions, children? A hero at heart. Swivel and wait. Wait. No lunch. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. It's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Gone. I am hungry. That axe seems a little too interested in me. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. Big and slow, the keepers of this place choose different forms, better ones. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Hiding things. 
thinking they're clever. Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. Addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. Beautiful lie. Scurry along now before something dreadful happens to you. Huh. Nothing here for Funny. you. Move. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible, or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Mister, let me show you something. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky.
Call it. Heads or tails? Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Thank you, that means so much. That's what I got. Nothing caught your eye, huh? 